So I was at my computer, just got a comment on YouTube from Tracy McGuire. Lindemann, Ben 50 Shiraz 2015. Well, asking you shall receive. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. So Tracy asked for it and I'm gonna review it. So this is the Lindemann Ben 50 Shiraz. I can't find the 2015. You'll have to settle for the 2017. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that's a disappointment up front, but it is $5 uh, at my local HEB and it is a certain percentage of alcohol by volume. Let's see if it says here, might take a while, 13.5%. So let's go ahead and open her up. First of all, screw top, plus one. That's quite nice. Having a red with the screw top, rest of the wine industry, kind of catch up here. So pouring a sample, very purple. Just flat out, very purple wine. You can't see that, my hand's in the way. Ah, look at that. It smells very jammy. A lot of dark fruit. It gets like plum and blackberry. It's no real hint of oak, just plum and blackberry. Slight hint of alcohol. From a taste standpoint, Very, very juicy up front. Um, this is a very, very young wine. It's not too complex. But you know what? It's not the worst I've ever had, especially on the, the cheap Shiraz scale. Lots of that just young fruit, especially that blackberry. I'm really feeling it all the way through. And then the plum shows up in the mid palate and kind of drops off pretty quickly. The finish, I'd say it's about a short finish. All right, so Ben 50 um, Shiraz by Lindemann's. What am I gonna rate you? I think I'm gonna rate you an okay. I've had far worse, a lot worse. And you're actually not that bad. So kudos to you. Um, they're not, what I would say is good, but um, for $5, there are much worse wines out there. So Tracy, you got your review. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to review in the future as well. Anyway, this is Mr. Wirt with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Lindemann's been 50 Shiraz? If you're interested to know if you have, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys again soon with another episode of Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, I'm gonna get back to my planning for the year. Okay, like you can't stick around. You're not gonna get to see the secret wine things I have planned for this year. They're gonna be cool. So if you want to see them as they pop up, just subscribe to the channel. Um, you've already seen one of them, which is the heavy metal wine review. And if you haven't seen that yet, click here. It's kind of a fun video.